And good day, class. Uh, this is Professor Brown. We're going to go over the new Lab 3 in 4710. And this one we are going to be doing in VirtualBox. So uh, the lab, <clears throat> if we pull it uh, up here, okay, I give specific instructions on where to download the OWASP broken web application and where to um, get the extension and uh, especially this third link, how to convert OWASP BWA to be used in VirtualBox. Okay, so that's the prerequisite for where we're at with this. That's pretty all step-by-step -step self-explanatory. Self all right, you, uh, I'm gonna be using this document as my um, turn-in paper. If I was turning it in Blackboard, and I'm gonna be putting screenshots under each one of these items. Important to note, the Cali box and the OpenWASP BWA need to be on the same network. In this case, they are both on the host-only adapter network, as you can see. Ensure that you have updated Cali, you've updated OpenVOS, you've updated your NVTs, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to go ahead and start OWASP out of the gate here. And sometimes you may have this problem come up, and the only way around it is to redo that entire step uh, from before. So I'm going to pause here real quick. Okay, so I am bringing back up the virtual box machines. This is the BWA Broken Web App. <clears throat> and over here I have my Cali box that's launching. I'm sorry, that's my BWA that's launching there. And my Cali box is here. <clears throat> Just takes them a minute or two to get up and going. As you can see, you have uh, the Broken Web app gives you its root and password. Uh, you can't use that. You have to show me a different way if you're going to get shell for number five, so just a heads up. And I'm here in my... Okay. Right, we're logged in. We're logging in, and we're ready to get rolling. So we're going to do a ping test, and we're going to do a ping sweep, and then we're going to do a ZenMap or InMap scan, and an OpenVos scan, and then I'm going to gain root shell from information that I get from the OpenVos scan. So this is going to go in quick succession pretty fast, and then I'm going to pause there and that's going to be what I'm going to put up this week, and then there will be a part two to this Lab 3 tutorial. All right, so I need to find my um, device. All right, so I'm on the 192.168.56 network. Three is not it. One oh four. Ah, looks like one oh four is gonna be the winner. All right, so let's gonna go back and get my snipping tool. <clears throat> Run that. Put this on my other screen so I can manage it a little bit better. And grab all that, including my timestamp there at the bottom. Edit. Copy, go back to my lab manual here, go right under that number one. There's my ping test. I'm able to ping 
BWA. Paste it in. Ten points. Easy money, right? All right. So now we got to do a ping sweep. So let's go back to Cali. Cancel that ping. And to do a ping sweep, the best way to do it is probably just in map from console. So let me clear my. There we go. My my terminal. And let's just do in map. Now that we know that it's 104. All right. Let's do the whole subnet. Actually, in map s dash p is the ping sweep. And then 192.168.56.0 slash 24. Let's do the full subnet. Now take just a second. As that is taking a second, let's go ahead and pull up uh, Zen Map because we want to need it next. There's my addresses. So there's 104 and 102. So that's it. That's all I need for for that one. Back to my snipping tool. And we'll do new. And we'll grab that. Again, make sure you get your time and date there in the lower right-hand corner. And copy. And back to the lab manual. And paste. All right. And then number three is we're going to do our ZenMap scan for the uh, IP. So we're just going to do that single IP intent scan. So back to Cali. And as we're doing that, We'll start spooling up Open Boss. All right. So Open Boss dash start. There we go. There we are. It looks like we got ports. Excellent. So you got to wait for that to finish because you'll get your host ID over here. And that's going to be number three and number four. So let's work on a little bit of number five. So going back to the Cali, we can see some of the ports that we have here. We have port 22, 80, 445. All right, so the, the main onus here is to enumerate, enumerate. So we also have a port 5001. So that's always interesting. I'm like, huh, oh, what's port 5001 TCP? A quick Google search later. Yeah. It might help if I put a uh, number lock on. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not giving me a lot of information here. Sling box. Hmm. Sling box. I don't think that's really that big of a deal. Alright, yep, there's my OWASP. Let me log in. There's my dashboard. So I will get this started. I'm just going to go ahead and do a straight uh, wizard scan. So go to tasks. And. Uh, I've already done it. So what I did is basically I got a task wizard and I put in that IP 192.168.56.104, I believe it was, and I'll hit start scan. All right, I've already done that, so I'm going to cut to the chase. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull up my report.
All right, and oops. Wrong window to minimize. There we go. So my Zen map scan is done. So this is number three. Let's go ahead and just uh, get somewhere where we have O wasp BWA in there. And let's just do a new snip. Again, make sure you get your time date. Back to your lab manual. And there's our Zen map scan. All right. Now, I want to make sure that I have this all kind of aligned. So I'm going to move that down to where it's visible. All right. And my, oops, goofed there. All right, so for number four, what we're going to do is go back and find that report. So after your OWASP scan is done, and you've been working with OWASP now for a good part of the semester, so this should not be too unfamiliar. Here's my report. I'm going to go into my report. And see up here where it says anonymous XML. I'm going to change that to, I'm going to look for PDF. Right? And then I'm going to go over here to download. And then that's going to pop up a, hopefully a download. There it is. All right. So I'm just going to save that to my uh, my system. There it is. Show all downloads. There's my downloads. I'm going to open it up. It's in Adobe. And I'm going to minimize you. I'm just going to blow this up. So that I did this uh, um, today, as you can see. And I'm going to take a snip of this. All right. Now, this already has a date on it. So if you don't get the the, the time date in the little right-hand corner, that's okay. And I'm going to copy that. And go to my lab manual under number four, and I'm going to paste it. <clears throat> there we are. So now we got a gain shell. Gain shell on this, there is not an overt way to do it from a standpoint of Metasploit. You have to kind of look at, well, what's the best way, easiest way I can do this? Um, so a couple different things we can do. Uh, we can try to brute force it. If we have a brute force utility like Hydra, that's fine. Um, or we can, the easiest, fastest way that is legit is to just simply go to this report that we have. Go to this report that we have. And we look at some general TCP information. And some of these highs on 443. we parse through these, we will find, a lot of these are Joomla. See a lot of information that is pertaining to that and we can also look, where can we also look? Actually, it's probably easier to find it here. Apache Tomcat Manager. So this is 7.5. I was just going to see if this is in the report as well. Let me come back to that in a second. 
Apache Tomcat. That's probably under 80. Apache Web Service Header, Denial of Service Vulnerability, that's the Denial of Service. Tiki Wiki, Joomla, WordPress, End of Life. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Apache Tomcat Manager Remote Unauthorized. So here you see user root password OWASP BWA. Hmm, interesting. So take a shot of this, screenshot of this, either from OWASP or from your report. So number five, you got to kind of walk me through the process if you're enumerating it like this. So there's the vulnerability. So found uh, vulnerability. All right. So then after I find the vulnerability, I need to test the vulnerability. So I'm going to have B period test vulnerability. All right. And I'm testing the vulnerability. What's the best way I can test it? Well, if I go back to that, this is on port 8080. You see where that's port 8080? Okay. So let's go ahead and pull up uh, our web browser. We're done with Zen Map. Let's pull up another tab in our web browser and go to that IP. Line two dot one six eight dot fifty six dot one four colon eighty eight. Mm -hmm. If my processor's not getting too terribly crushed from Camtasia running. <laughs> Then like HTTPS, so which I standard HTTP, you should have gotten a web authentication here. That's the main page. All right. Um. So I know Apache is working. Uh, this should have popped up a username password here. Ah, I know why. I know why. Because I'm not trying it from my host machine. That's where I'm goofing up. You should have access from your host machine. 192.168.56.1. One hundred four colon eighty eighty. If you try it from Cali, sometimes it doesn't work all that well. But if we try it from the host machine, where we might have a different take, it might still not work. Sometimes you want to try a different browser. Page is not working. All right. So may not be able to test in that fashion. 
Uh, oh, here's another way we can do it. Let's go back to our Kelly, Kelly box. And go back to our terminal. And let's just try to SSH. <clears throat> now, we're SSH as root because we are root. So we don't have to do any type of special character or special switch for this. This is put the IP in. All right, and then that, that password that we found. So if we go back to... Uh, the password, what was the password? O wasp D B W A. O wasp B W A. Oh, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, of course I want to continue. I'm offensive security. Why would I not want to continue? O wasp B W A. And you have mail and you're logged in. So if you show this in this fashion, and even if you show it like this, with the vulnerability and the, um, whoops, no, the vulnerability and the shell together, that is acceptable. Copy. All right, there's your test of your vulnerability. So I'm looking for probably two screenshots there, one or two screenshots as a step process. So when we come back in the next round, next week for Lab 3, uh, to finish everything up, uh, we're going to go through 6, 7, 8, and 9. So um, there's a multitude of things that we can do for 7 and 9. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. You can go and find additional stuff. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and post this on the YouTube channel so you guys can have it, and I'll post an announcement as well. This will get you started down the path for the new Lab 3. All right, so this is Professor Brown. Until next time, have a great day.